We are here at the Raspberry Pi stand here in Embedded World 2023, and it is my first time looking at the brand new global shutter camera that Raspberry Pi have just released. Now, as I said quite recently on the Electromaker show, um, there was just a new Raspberry Pi camera module version 3, so why is there now a new one? Well, I have been James, uh, I've been James, I've been joined by James, who's going to take me through why Raspberry Pi have decided to release yet another camera module so hot on the heels of the camera module Mark III. Right, well, okay, so you can see the, the cameras here. We have a global shutter camera, uh, we have the V3. The question is, what's the difference, really? Um, they're, they're actually destined for different markets. Uh, the V3 is uh, very much a consumer-oriented camera. It, uh, the new one has HDR, it has uh, the uh, autofocus. The global shutter, coming quite close on the heels of that one, is really intended for a more industrial environment. It's much lower resolution, but it is a global shutter camera. The global shutter, and we can show it on this video here, um, compared with the HQ camera on the right, which has the same rolling shutter as the, uh, as the V3, um, you can see uh, the rolling shutter artifacts on the right-hand side here coming from the HQ camera. The global shutter camera takes the picture Every pixel gets recorded at the same time. With a rolling shutter, uh, it does it scans down much faster than my hand. I can't move my hand that fast. But uh, the, with the global shutter camera, you get an instantaneous picture of the uh, of the target. And you can see with the fan rolling around here, with the backlight there, you can see it's it's pretty much uh, a perfect image versus the uh, the really rather uh, bad image you get out of the HQ camera. You shouldn't use this as an argument to say don't get an HQ camera. The HQ camera is obviously a much higher resolution device. This uh, global shutter camera, there is a trade-off uh, for having that global shutter and the fact that, that trade-off is a 1.6 megapixel camera. So you're talking a much lower resolution. Um, that, on the whole, for industrial purposes, if you're taking pictures on a production line, you're doing machine uh, recognition of the images, uh, that's not a problem because generally you have use low resolution images for that anyway. Well, I was so, going to say, yeah, one of the main things that happens as part of the process of any kind of machine learning, usually, is they'll take a higher resolution image and scale it down in exactly. order to be processed. So that actually makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. And so, really, the lower resolution of the global shutter camera is not a, not a disadvantage in these circumstances. Sure, yeah. And, um, and I guess the only other question being is just with both of these things having just come out, um, uh, are all of these things readily available to buy right now? Whether you want the version 3 or the rolling shutter, um, you, are these all kind of distributed out to local distributors already? Yes, they should all be out there. Um, just got, get in contact with your local distributor and uh, you should be able to buy them straight away. Fantastic. Well, thank you for giving me your time today, James. Enjoy the rest of your conference. Thank you very much. Have a great time. Cheers.